What is up everybody? Jico here today. And today, I'm making another video as I head off to the gym. I don't know if it's gonna be better with my front roof open or not, but head off to the gym and then my community has a special 4th of July celebration on July 2nd because I guess they want to do it so people don't interfere with their holiday affairs, right? So I'm working out my legs today and I wanted to talk about something and I keep saying things are going to change but they really haven't and it was only a year and two months from today that I had one of my most successful months ever in my career, right? So now I have a daughter. My daughter actually just turned seven months today. So God bless her little soul. And I keep seeing other people's success. Um, I actually used to, it's really crazy because I just wound up on this girl's TikTok. She has 680 followers, apparently had 5 million Instagram followers. This is a girl I met when I was in Lake Worth, um, Florida, when I lived in Florida. And she literally, you know, I, I told her it was my birthday. I took her out to dinner, blah, 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 blah. Um, told her about my work. Long story short, never wanted to really get into it, right? So I have a Genesis GV80 behind me and I have a GV70. So And they're on my butt. But um, so it turns out she's like, in California is a famous P star now um, tons of followers makes tons and tons of money all faked up now it's just crazy I mean I didn't even just like go on a date with her we were you know F buddies for a while she's actually the person who gave me chlamydia I'm pretty sure <laughs> remember that video that I made a long time ago where I said I got herpes or chlamydia or whatever it is bro you don't need to be going 50 miles an hour. Calm down. So, I just see that she's making money after I, like, try to help her make money and she never wanted to. So, it's just, like, people ventured out for themselves. I didn't want to make money on her because I was dating her. I wanted to make money because I was trying to get that 5% that commission. Bro, go around if you're, if you're that interested. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. It's like, it's 35 miles an hour and I'm not going to get a speeding ticket because you're a schmuck. So, then there's other people just being successful and I'm at this point in my life where I'm like, not even getting to the numbers that I feel comfortable with. Just to, just to sustain what I have, right? So it's like, before I had my daughter and my fiance was pregnant, I said to myself that um, I'm not going to make what I make and not have a family and not care about people and not have a life. And then it's like, I'm okay with making half of what I make. As long as I'm there for my family and my daughter and my stepkids and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now it's just like I'm, I'm too much there that I'm not there because I have so much free time that I'm playing video games or just playing around or not doing what I'm supposed to do or not getting things done. So it's like I make the excuse that me not dedicating my time to work is taking away from other things. But yet, I'm not working and I'm still not there for things. So, so I'm trying to figure myself out. I mean, I moved here three and a half months ago. I make like no friends. I have like no friends. The family friends that I made don't have time to hang out. And now I'm on the fence. And now my family kind of wants to move back to Florida. And I'm contemplating on renting and just selling my home before the market crashes. This way, I won't lose money when the market crashes. Yes, I'm going to be spending money, you know, renting. But in retrospect, if my house goes down, it's already sold. And if I have to act on something in Florida or wherever, 
I'll have the money saved to do that. So I'm also contemplating about that. But it's like my ability to focus is really bad because I get distracted by so many things. I'm like here. That was weird. I'm like here on Zillow every single day looking at houses, rentals and stuff. Why am I wasting my time? Why am I so worried? Why am I so fixated, right? Why am I so bent? Like, <clears throat> there's this girl who, <clears throat> excuse me, who's friends with David Dobrik, K K Karina, Corina, Karina, whatever her name is. And she shows her OF account and how much she makes. And she literally makes a million dollars a month. And it's crazy because I look at her and she's a pretty girl, right? But it's just like, how? What? Why? How is that even possible? Like my best month ever in my entire life, I made $40,000. And I, God bless my soul, I was a very lucky man that month. I wish, I just wish that I can put aside everything and focus myself on work, even if it means expanding myself out of my comfort zone. If I have to do it for my family and to make money and sustain, then I have to do it and I have to sacrifice kind of my pride in order to get it done. So, It's like, focus on your family, don't make any money and eventually be broke and not be able to retire when 40 or 28 now, work my butt off for 12 more years, literally, my butt, and retire and have a house that's paid off and have all this stuff. Now, I'm gonna be honest, just because I have a big home or a nice house or a nice car, doesn't automatically mean I'm gonna be happy, right? And I'll tell you why. My happiness doesn't stem from my home. My happiness more stems from time that I get to spend with my family, how I feel like my body and my back and my feet and all that stuff, how much money I'm bringing in. Just because I have a big house, so I'm not making money, that's a problem. So my happiness stems from a lot of things. It's not just about having the nice things in life that makes me happy. It could be one of the things, right? I could have it all and be, have it all and not have my daughter and I'll be suicidal. Like, that's what it is. Um, just gotta figure out what I wanna do. Is that the same Genesis? They just went a different way? Probably. It's actually not that hot out. It says it's 93. I don't think so. But um, just getting here into the parking lot. And, getting, and there's another... No, that's a that's the, uh, Porsche. Oh. And then I was going for a walk with my family. My fiance, my daughter, my stepdaughter, and my daughter. And... Lady comes out, gets in her uh, C8 Corvette, and I have one ordered for the summer. And I, I'm canceling my order. I didn't cancel it fully yet. But not only did the order seem delayed, but I tested one out. Not that I really was focused on it, but I didn't really care for it because I'm not used to sitting into a, a low bucket seat anymore like I used to when I had my other Corvette two years ago. So that's expensive. Porsches are nice, the SUVs. I just don't really care for the um, the front front headlights. But um, sorry, this lady's like recording herself. Why is she trying to walk across the street? Oh my god! I'm recording myself. While I'm driving, but I'm not affecting other people. These people are, like recording themselves while they're in the street. 
Um, so the question, it's like, I'm not getting any younger. It's like, come on, Grammy. It's like, what am I, what do I, what do I got to do to motivate myself? It's like, there's a point of me that just wants to give up and be like, okay, let me get a small dookie house. Let me not work as hard. Let me blah, 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 blah. And that just sounds like a lazy person. That just sounds like somebody living off the government. Like, why would I want to live my life like that? So let me know your opinion, guys. I'm just getting up on the gym now. We're 10 minutes invested. So let me know what I should do. And then, like I said, I don't really want to go out of my comfort zone, but I know if that is going to help me retire at 40 and get me everything I want, even though I'm not comfortable with it, and it, it doesn't seem right to my fiance. It's just like, you should just do it. I don't know. I say that to myself, but I probably can't even do it. So it doesn't really matter. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But. I mean. Oh, life's not easy, guys. Life's not easy. So. Hope to talk to you guys soon. Take care.